Project Quality Plan, PQP, is normally required for Criticality 1 packages. It is based on ISO 10005 Quality Management, Guidelines for Quality Plans. It would have the same requirements as ISO 9001 QMS, but intended for implementation at project level. Project Quality Plan typically includes key personnel and brief description of their responsibilities, contract review by the supplier to ensure he has sufficient resources in terms of manpower, know-how, infrastructure to do the job, design control, such as design input, output, verification and validation, document and data control, for example, revision and numbering for document traceability while archiving outdated documents, purchasing, for example, outsourcing and subcontractor for services and raw material, ensure controls in place, control of customer supplied product, such as free issued material supplied by the client, if any, for traceability, proper storage, quarantine non-conforming product and disposition, product identification and traceability, including raw material traceability and marking, process control, for example, QC procedures like NDE examination procedure, test procedures, WPS, function test procedure, pressure test procedure, inspection and testing, which is reflected within inspection and test plan. Control of inspection, measuring and test equipment, for example, calibration program that includes calibration procedures, register, test reports and certificates, Inspection and test status, such as test reports, milled test report, test records. Control of non-conforming product, such as NCR procedure, register and report. Corrective and preventive actions that is normally addressed within NCR procedure and report. Handling, storage, packaging, preservation and delivery, which is addressed within packing and shipping procedure, lifting plan for heavy components or equipment over 2,000 kg. Control of quality records, which is reflected within MRB or the manufacturer record book and its index. Auditing, such as audit procedure, audit schedule, audit findings and follow-up. Training, for example, supplier to demonstrate how he ensures his personnel and subcontractors have the required qualification, training and competency. Evidence may be training matrix, qualification record, experience record. For more tips, visit inspectortraining.com.